Hello, happy Friday, Paul is the best for UK here and welcome to today's game of day. So this time we're looking at Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. So let's have a look at this one. So we had a look at Turtles Arcade Attack earlier in the month. Check out my other videos for that. But yeah, happy Friday everyone. So let's start the game and see what we got with this one. So this is by 2005. So let's have a fire selection. We're going to go for easy. Um, okay. So saving. Okay, so we've got single player, multiplayer, and options. So let's have a look at the options here. Feature, input password, backlight on. Why would you have the backlight off? That's a bit strange. Okay, so let's go for story mode and let's have a look and see what this is like. So we've got, just like the other game, we've got a uh, choice of turtle. The four favourites here Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, Michelangelo. I'm going to beat Leonardo this time. I think I was Donatello last time on the other game. So let's go for this. Let's go for stage one and let's have a look. Bit of a brief story there, but I'm just going to skip past that. Right, okay. So yeah, this is Turtles 3. Now the top screen is the gameplay and the bottom screen is some sort of map system by the looks of it. Radar system. So yeah, just like the other game, this is like a Streets of Rage sort of beat em up game. Have some of that. So all the baddies are coming at me here. Let's proceed on. So yeah, graphics are nice. you got some power, like you got some 3D graphics on it. It's like... It's like a pseudo 2D, 3D hybrid. You've got 3D graphics. It's not a parallax scrolling. It's more 3D uh, artwork there. Have some of that. So it does tell you the enemy's uh, sort of energy life on whenever you attack someone as well. And your own life, obviously. Your own energy bars there as well. So let's proceed on. So, okay. Right, something's happening here. Do I need to kill this guy first? I have no idea. Right, okay, so... Okay, so I think I need Donatello's help. So if I touch the screen at the bottom here... Oh, he's just... Oh, cool. So at the bottom screen, you've got... You can enlist the help of your other compadres, your other members of the team. Okay, so this is like... It's hard to demonstrate this on an emulator, but this is like sort of innovative with the touch screen. So we've got to sort of use the touch screen to rotate this. Do we rotate it that way? Okay, I can't see to rotate it. Okay, I'm trying to rotate it, but it might not be working properly in the emulator. I think I have to rotate it the other way, don't I? Bear with me a minute. So let's try and rotate this. Oh, it's like it's like a, some sort of lock, so you've got to rotate it this way and then that way. Right. There we go. Success. So now we can go down here and proceed on. So lots of innovations in the game, which is nice to see. Puzzle solving elements using the touch screen. So, like I said, it's a bit hard to demonstrate that with the emulator, but if you've got a real DS, you'll know what I mean when you play the game. Right, okay, so innovations like that keep uh, Nintendo fans happy because the DS has a touch screen on the bottom. Nintendo's always about innovation, isn't it, with its consoles. So, yep, yeah, let's keep going. Let's beat these guys here. Well, okay, it's a lift here. I'm guessing I have to jump on that somewhere. Hey, do I jump on that? There we go. So the music's good, the graphics are good. Nice little game for Friday here. Right, let's get up here. A lot of climbing and puzzle solving on this one by the looks of it. So it's not just about the fighting. Oh, you fuck, I just went into the spikes here. So yeah, that was pretty much a quick look at Teenage Mutant and Ninja Turtles 3 on the Nintendo DS. I'm going to give this one 8 out of 10 purely because it's got a lot of innovation and it's a good game. So I'd like to uh, thank you for watching. Have a happy Friday and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.